In the solar system, there are thousands of asteroids that orbit very close to the Earth. The imminent impact of an asteroid could put an end to all life on Earth. NASA has announced that in 2029, an asteroid as dangerous as the chunk that wiped out the dinosaurs will hurl past Earth just 39,000 kilometers away. This particular asteroid has raised concern in the scientific community for some years now, since it has a high probability of colliding with Earth. We are talking about the asteroid Apophis. Is this asteroid still on a collision course toward Earth? And if so, when will the day of impact occur? Join us today as we investigate the enigma of this dangerous asteroid. Before we start, be sure to click on that subscribe button and like this video as it's the best way to support this channel. In 2004, astronomers made a startling discovery. They identified a massive rock fragment capable of inflicting the same level of devastation on Earth as the catastrophic asteroid Chicxulub that led to the extinction of dinosaurs some 66 million years ago. Chicxulub measured a staggering 15 kilometers in diameter and slammed into what we now recognize as Mexico, hurtling at a speed of several kilometers per second. Upon impact, it unleashed a colossal shockwave and intense heat, obliterating everything within its immediate vicinity in mere seconds. The heat and smoke generated by this cataclysmic event marked the onset of profound climate change. The sun's radiance dimmed, temperatures plummeted, and numerous plant species withered away. The resultant fires and dust rendered the air toxic, leading to a mass die-off of animals. Fast forward to the present, we find ourselves potentially facing a similar threat. If an asteroid of comparable magnitude were to strike Earth once more, it could spell the complete annihilation of our habitat, and human survival could hang in the balance under these altered conditions. It is no wonder that scientists at the Kitt Peak National Observatory in Arizona were shocked when they detected a new asteroid and found that it was getting closer and closer to Earth. Asteroids are remnants hailing from the formation of our solar system approximately 4.6 billion years ago. Since their inception, these rocky bodies have traversed the expanse of our solar system, varying in size from minuscule dust grains to substantial bodies spanning hundreds of kilometers in diameter. Much like all other entities in the cosmos, asteroids adhere to the gravitational forces that shape their trajectories. Similar to planets, most asteroids follow elliptical paths as they orbit the Sun. These orbits exhibit distinct inclinations and eccentricities, signifying that they are not perfectly circular. Various influences can disrupt an asteroid's course, including the gravitational pull of the Sun, the push of solar winds, the attraction exerted by other planets, or even acceleration caused by planetary encounters. Because of the gravitational order in the system, most asteroids are bound in the Kuiper belt at the far edge of the solar system and in the asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter. However, Fragments occasionally break free from these zones and begin journeys toward the Sun, a process that may bring them perilously close to Earth. Fortunately, the majority of near-Earth asteroids are small and pose minimal threat to our planet, as they typically burn up upon entering our atmosphere. Nevertheless, some larger near-Earth asteroids, such as Apophis, present a potential risk due to their substantial size and proximity to our planet. Now, let's examine whether NASA will be able to break the power of the asteroid and whether this will be necessary at all. Apophis has an estimated diameter of 370 meters, making it significantly smaller than the Chicxulub asteroid. However, it would be a grave mistake to underestimate the potential danger posed by Apophis, primarily due to the remarkable velocity at which it could collide with Earth. Apophis belongs to the category of Apollo asteroids, a group known for regularly intersecting Earth's orbital path, hence categorizing them as potentially hazardous. For a brief period, there was a looming concern about a possible impact event slated for the year 2029. Fortunately, this anxiety was short-lived. New projections indicated that Apophis would pass Earth at a distance of roughly 31,000 kilometers. One might consider this a narrow escape. In March 2021, Apophis made a close approach to Earth, 
although still maintaining a safe distance. If it returns in 2029 as anticipated, its proximity to Earth will be closer than that of most satellites. This occurrence will be an extraordinarily rare event, with brightly illuminated asteroids being witnessed on Earth only once every few millennia. It promises to be a truly unique spectacle for both scientific observers and amateur astronomers alike. But the story doesn't end there. Apophis will inevitably make a return visit, and then the encounter could end quite differently. We have a firm understanding of Apophis's orbital path, allowing us to maintain ongoing observations and investigations of this asteroid. While this knowledge can provide a certain level of reassurance, our current capabilities to safeguard against asteroid threats remain rather limited. Often, people envision a scenario as seen in movies like Armageddon, where astronauts embark on a mission to an asteroid and detonate it. However, in actual conditions, if the asteroid were to fragment into two or more pieces due to such an explosion, these fragments could attain tremendous speeds and potentially be directed toward Earth. An effective detonation would only be achievable if we possessed more comprehensive information about the asteroid's composition and characteristics. Otherwise, the outcome could result in widespread destruction. Presently, the consensus among scientists is that altering the asteroid's trajectory would be a safer approach. To achieve this, we would have to employ spacecraft, rockets, and also gentle blasts in the environments of the asteroid are suitable. The global scientific and governmental communities share a deep concern regarding the need to enhance our understanding of asteroids in order to develop effective defense strategies. That's why Apophis will soon get a visit. NASA's OSIRIS-REx mission is currently underway. It commenced its journey in 2016 and successfully touched down on another dangerous asteroid called Bennu. On October 20th, 2020, OSIRIS-REx collected a sample from Bennu's surface, set to reach Earth by September 2023. Afterwards, OSIRIS-REx will transition into the follow-up mission known as OSIRIS-APEX, with numerous countries committing contributions as much as $200 million to facilitate this pivotal endeavor. Just a month after delivering the Bennu sample, the probe will chart a course toward Apophis. OSIRIS APEX is anticipated to reach the asteroid in 2029. During its 18-month mission, the probe will engage in comprehensive research, including surface mapping to identify potential vulnerabilities on Apophis. This mapping could prove invaluable in our efforts to assess the feasibility of either blasting or altering Apophis's orbit. South Korean astronomers are also planning a probe that will reach Apophis in January 2029, just before its flyby of Earth. The mission aims to study the asteroid's structural changes due to its close encounter with Earth. Other plans call for a smaller spacecraft called Apophis Pathfinder, much faster than the larger probes. The Pathfinder is expected to reach the asteroid as early as 2025 or 2026 and complete several close flybys. Reportedly, private space companies such as SpaceX also have plans to approach Apophis, so it's going to be exciting as in a few years, we will get the chance to see an asteroid up close and real for the first time ever. Astronomers gauge the threat of asteroid impacts using the Palermo scale which rates the potential danger on a scale from 0 to 10. This assessment takes into account an asteroid's size, orbit, and the likelihood of it colliding with Earth. A score of 0 implies no risk, while a rating of 10 suggests a high probability of a catastrophic global event. Currently, our predictive capabilities extend only up to the year 2116. Since both Bennu and Apophis are guaranteed not to collide with Earth within this time frame, they are presently assigned a risk rating of zero, much like all other known near-Earth asteroids. However, it's essential to acknowledge that this status can swiftly change if unforeseen cosmic events such as an extreme solar storm or a collision between two asteroids alter their trajectories. Furthermore, there remains the possibility of new asteroids emerging in close proximity to Earth, representing a significant danger. This unpredictability is exemplified by surprise impacts, 
like the 20-meter asteroid that detonated in mid-air over the Russian city of Chelyabinsk on February 15, 2013, causing substantial damage. Although the explosion occurred in the atmosphere rather than on the Earth's surface, it was potent enough to demolish entire buildings and induce hearing and bloodstream injuries in humans. Events like this underscore the enduring threat posed by asteroids, emphasizing the need to remain vigilant and not underestimate their potential hazards. We are interested to hear what you think about the topic of asteroids. Do you think we can protect ourselves if an asteroid like Apophis hits Earth? Let us know in the comments sections. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.